Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the December project. I'm going to be doing uh, story four, number four, however you want to call it. Not really day four, uh, but number four. And I'm going to use this page protector and it is the four three by four cards. Now, I do know that I've said I will scrapbook other things besides Christmas this month. So if you're looking forward to that, it's not going to be today. I'm sorry. This is really what I want to uh, scrapbook. I have a little bit of an idea, not a whole idea yet, but something. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys. So I am going to go ahead and pull out my trimmer and get some pieces trimmed down to three by four, since this is a pocket of three by four cards. Now I knew I wanted something on the outside of the pocket and the inside of the pocket. Um, I didn't just want to shove things into the pockets and call it a day. Although sometimes that is what I do. Um, and we'll just have to figure that out together as we move through the month and get some of these pages done. Now, sometimes during the month, I do end up working on a couple of pages at the same time. I might have a long vid longer video. Sometimes it doesn't all get done in December and it goes into January. And that's just the nature of this project for me. It has turned less into a daily um, thing and more into a just as I'm feeling it and feeling the holiday times and all that kind of good stuff. Um, the fire truck is outside in our community right now. Um, we had signs up that said fire truck food drive on Friday and we were kind of like, what the heck does that even mean? And, uh, sure enough, there was a fire truck decked out in Christmas lights with a van behind them and a skinny Santa and his helpers. <laughs> and, uh, they are just blaring Christmas music, uh, slowly moving through the community so people can come out and give um, food for the food drive. It's actually uh, pretty cool. Um, and Santa shook Christopher's hand and gave him some candy cane. So it was kind of cool. So anyway, back to the layout. I'm actually not telling that story. Because um, I only have a blurry photo on my phone. That will end up going into the main album. Uh, because this project kind of turns into like my personal uh, holiday December journal type thing. Now I do know that this is what I want to put on the outside of the page protector. It is an ornament with a chipboard piece. The number four is going inside of the page protector, but I know I want it to nestle between that ornament and, um, and the title. So I opened up my day eight of my... Uh, advent calendar from MK and the items that were in there are adorable they're camping but they're not gonna they're not gonna work for this day in the Christmas uh, book so we're just gonna put those off to the side I'm trying to figure out now what I want to add in um, as you can see that acrylic lantern uh, from scrapping reflections fits in that little pocket perfectly I did snip off the top part um, I haven't decided if I'm going to put sequins uh, in there yet with the lantern and uh, seal up the top or if I'm just going to leave the lantern there. I'll figure that out uh, tomorrow or whatever day I do the back side of this page. Uh, for now, the little lantern is just going to live in that pocket um, without anything else in there and without the lid sealed or the top. I guess the pocket doesn't really have a lid it's fine. You can call it a lid if you want to. Um, so here is my Instax photo. This is an up-close photo of the Christmas tree that is in my bathroom. Um, and I will journal about this as well. Um, we have a small tree on the bathroom counter. And you guys, it is absolutely heaven to go in there, turn on the tree, turn off the lights, get into the bubble bath, and have Christmas music and just sitting there and enjoying it. Uh, it's, it's so good. It's so good, you guys. Um, I am already a tub person. I love me a good tub, uh, but a Christmas tree and Christmas music just makes it that much better. 
Um, I am going to decorate this ever so slightly. I've got this gold glitter reindeer, and I'm finally going to use that black and gold washi tape. I do think about bringing in this Joy uh, die cut because it does have wood grain on it, and my number four has wood grain on it, and I was kind of thinking I should have a little bit of continuity here. Ultimately, it doesn't make it onto the layout whatsoever. Now, originally, my thought was going to be to emboss the edges of this green paper that I'm doing right here. However, I decided instead to distress them and use my gold fine liner and outline the edge and then place it on top of the black cardstock as the base. And I do love how this turned out. Uh, I love a deep green and a black together. I think it is a gorgeous combination. Throw pops of red and gold in there and wow. It is just an amazing Christmas page ready to happen, right? So going to adhere down that insect's photo, figure out where I want the washi tape to go. Um, I do mess with it a little bit. I'm like, do I want any of the white insects at the bottom to show? How do I want this to go? Um, eventually, I decide to have a little bit of it show. And then I'm going to glue the deer down and put him in the pocket. And then I'm going to immediately pull him out of the pocket because I think, what if this isn't the best way to do this and I need to figure something else out? I don't know why I did that because ultimately, the only thing I do is add a little wood veneer heart down here to this pocket and it's fine. I don't know why I'm... I'm stressing out it about it so much. Now I'm really not sure what paper is going to go into this top pocket yet, um, but this is where I have that moment where I'm like, what if this isn't the best option? What if I need this deer instead? What if I need a puffy deer instead of the glitter deer? And it's like, what are you doing? You liked the way it was. Why are you even, you know, toying with the idea of changing something that you liked? I have no idea. Uh, really don't have any idea about it. So the deer gets put back down, um, but I do eventually grab a wood veneer heart and uh, place that down on the page. Um, my, my whole thought process was maybe I should add some wood down here somehow. Um, so that's why I was messing around with different things. But this little uh, heart ends up being perfect. And I put that onto the washi tape right next to the deer. So the glue is still wet and I am using liquid adhesive because there is glitter on this deer. Um, so I'm just going to put him into the pocket and the pressure of the pocket will help hold those elements down there while the glue dries. So now, now is the time to figure out the paper behind the number four. Ultimately, I go for this Christmas red plaid. It is a gorgeous plaid. Um, I do love me a good plaid, you guys. Um, I think I've used plaid on almost every single every single thing I've done in this December project so far. Um, I also have this khaki and gold Christmas tree paper. Pretty sure I picked this up at the dollar, Target dollar spot um, a couple years ago. Um, and I'm trying to figure out how I want to layer, right? Like, I don't want it just to be the plaid. So I'm trying to figure out between the plaid, the holly jolly, and the golden Christmas trees. Ultimately, I decide to go with the Christmas trees, and I'm going to tear the edge of my paper to do that. Uh, first, I'm going to put this in to make sure I like it. I'm trying to, like testing out to see if I like the holly jolly better and I'm like mm, not really I don't want to put the holly jolly on here um, I'm not really feeling it right like I'm not feeling like it's the Christmas the magic of Christmas that I'm trying to uh, get out but I do like the khaki and gold Christmas tree so I'm trying to figure out how I can bring that in there I'm like do I want to cut out a strip do I want to punch out a circle because Lord knows me and the circles are happening in this December project, even though my circle punch is not cooperating very well. Um, ultimately, I decided to trim down um, the Christmas tree paper to just shy of a 3x4 card. And what I'm going to do is place that behind my plaid paper, tear my plaid paper, and then I have those Christmas trees peeking out from behind there. And I like the way that this looks. 
a whole lot, right? Like it, it just, it's, it's screaming, this is Sandy, right? Like it's screaming, this is a Sandy December project page. So I go ahead and get that down. I figure out where my number four needs to go. And then I decide to use those Love from Lizzie peel-offs uh, on the center of the four, again, where there is a white line uh, between the wood grain printed stuff. Um, and I go ahead and do that. I'm just using that same X-Acto knife that I used to uh, score the edges of the acrylic to pop that handle off. I am using to just cut uh, into the peel off so that I have sharp lines for my number. So I get that done and it's like, oh, all done. So happy. We're going to put this into the pocket now um, and then just going to go ahead and try out again uh, where that the magic of Christmas and the ornament needs to go. And yes, it's nestling beautifully there. And then I am going to grab a white pen and I'm going to journal about the Christmas tree being in the bathroom and how the magic of Christ Christmas magic is everywhere, even in a bathroom. And um, I'm just going to do that with my white pen. I am printing. I don't have I printed and everything. Yep. So far I've printed um, everything that I've written in here. Sometimes I print, sometimes I write in cursive. I do find it a lot easier to print with a white gel pen than I do writing in cursive with a white gel pen. I feel like you have better control of the ink that's coming out. Um, that just is my personal preference, though. Um, I am going to try to dry it a little bit before I stick it into the pocket. I still get a little bit of white gel pen on the inside of the plastic pocket. We just wipe that off real quickly. Um, and then that uh, one will be done. Now, see, that's me trying to wave it around and kind of dry it off. So now I'm going to add this last little bit right here to the top of the page protector. The ornament that I fussy cut out is actually a pocket, um, a corner pocket, like a, it could, I guess, a f big old photo, photo corner or page corner, um, could be the start of a pocket in a corner. Um, from Paper House, and I just fussy cut that out, and then I peel off the um, the entire plastic sticky background. I'm going to add Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive since this is going on the outside of my page protector, and um, then I kind of futz around with the lantern a little bit. Ultimately, I decide to leave the decision of what I'm doing with that pocket, if I'm putting anything extra in there, until tomorrow. And that makes me happy because, you know, I don't want to stress out about it. I was thinking about how to cover up that little bit of magic of Christmas because when you flip it over, you're going to see it. But ultimately, it's something I'm going to worry about tomorrow. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again real soon for another video.